wrap us up here. Tell us what it's going to look like over the next couple of three years at Veterans Affairs. Yes. Yeah, so I, I think, um, you know, when you look toward the future, um, you know, obviously it's hard to predict, but uh, we're seeing a lot of interesting work, I think, in, in trustworthy artificial intelligence. A lot of people are, you know, I've heard, you know, are talking about AI first, you know, and AI able or AI ready data. I think in the future, we're going to start to talk about it, think more about, you know, trustworthy first, trustworthy ready data um, as sort of the foundation, because we need to start thinking about um, that trustworthy aspect of, of the use cases right at the very beginning, you know, all the data, making sure that as you build the models, you, you have the right data, because it's much easier to uh, build and design uh, trustworthy aspects of artificial intelligence when you think about them at the beginning rather than uh, after the use case is developed and you're working on uh, deploying it uh, and patching it afterwards. Um, so I think that's one aspect. Uh, when we think about artificial intelligence within government in general, I think um, you know it can help in reducing essentially our time tax on our employees. Uh, so they can accomplish more um, within uh, the given uh, same level of effort, uh, as well as also it can help in improving uh, customer service through uh, increasing speed and accuracy while protecting uh, the, the, the privacy as one of the top priorities. Um, so, you know, it's worth uh, repeating really that, um, that the way AI, artificial intelligence, right, and machine learning can improve uh, and, and do some of this is by improving the access to the information and making it uh, readily available and scalable. Uh, and in doing so, you know, I think it will really fundamentally change the way we serve the veteran community uh, and also enable and empower that workforce uh, with uh, high-end tools. Well, we 